Today we're looking at the redesigned Metcon React Turbo. All the gear that I'll be using in this video is made by Virus Performance. They make amazing, incredible gear that you can use inside the gym and outside seamlessly. So that's what I wear all the time. You can use my discount code to save some on them and let me know if you do. It's turbo time. It's turbo time. It's turbo time. Oh gosh, what a dumb name. The Metcon Reacts are a more polished version of the Metcon 6 workhorse that have a little bit more cushion. They're meant to be a premium upgrade from the Metcon 6, which in my opinion are the best CrossFit training shoe on the market right now. First thing you'll notice is we have visible laces instead of the hidden ones that were in the last version. And they're actual laces and not the quick lacing system. A quick note about the laces themselves, I have always had to double knot the laces on all of my Metcons, except for the Metcon Free 3s, and now these, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but it actually makes a big difference in workouts, not having to worry about your shoes coming untied. The upper is a light and breathable mesh on the inner side and a more durable kind of coated mesh on the outside. The outside area of the shoe is where you're gonna get most of your everyday wear, but the inside is where you get more specific wear on things like rope climbs, specifically, rope climbs specifically. So let's talk about that. There's a new rope guard wrapping around the midfoot of the sole with an aggressive groove pattern that's taking what Nike did with the previous design from the Metcon 5s and 6s and building on that. The grooves wrap all the way down the shoe and wrap back up the other side. They're sharper with little tooth cut details that grab the rope well. These grab a rope great, and I've tested them on two different ropes that I have here at the house, as well as the ropes at our gym, which are some super slippery nylon junk that makes climbing with any shoe harder than normal. Okay, so here's the deal. I've probably done 20 rope climbs total in these shoes. They're, they're fine, you know, they're fine for going up the rope, down the rope. They don't have as good a grab as the Metcon 6s, but they're still really good. But here is the real deal breaker for me. Less than 20 rope climbs. And already you can see that a big chunk has come out of the outsole, like a big chunk of the tread for the rope climb area, the rope guard, like that's what it's made for, is gone. And that's, that's just like not okay. Do you want, do you want to say something? Want to say hi? and the back of the heel is kind of separating a little bit. You can see here, that's where the heel is like separating from the shoe. So that is a huge deal for me. I'm pretty disappointed about that because I was I was kind of starting to like these, but that's that's just not not acceptable, uh, especially when they're a more expensive like premium upgrade from the Metcon 6. The outsole is this kind of split sole design. The heel is solid, the midfoot is broken up with the grooves, and you can actually see the fabric of the shoe through the grooves. And then the forefoot is solid again. The React Foam insole has a hard plastic piece to cover that area where the outsole is the thinnest to protect your foot from sharp, pokey things. We have the flared heel from the Metcon 5s and 6s that, by the way, makes a big difference in the stability performance of the shoe. And for the first time, we're seeing a flare on the front of the shoe as well, boosting the stability even more and taking cues from the Romoleo 4s. You can notice there's a purposeful reduction of plastic and rubber pieces all over to cut every bit of weight possible from the shoe. The heel clip on the back is smaller. I know some people kind of hate on the heel clip saying that it doesn't really make a difference, but I love having the heel clip on my Metcons. I can feel that plastic piece sliding along the wall whenever I do handstand push-ups, and there's no little catch of rubber friction that I get from other shoes sometimes. The outsole is streamlined and overall it's minimized to cut back on the weight and it's done really well so you're not losing from the performance side. Now when I first put them on I was super surprised because I was expecting a very flexible, more cushioned, uh, super light kind of feel and instead they felt pretty stiff and extremely solid. I felt glued to the ground almost like the feeling you get when you put on a pair of lifters. I also noticed that they're a very snug fit. They fit similar to my Romaleos 4, actually. 
Now you can feel the strip across your toe at first and it adds some stiffness to the front of the shoe, but after I wore them for a while, that feeling pretty much went away. There's definitely a break-in period and it's actually a pretty long break-in period. So just be aware of that. After getting over the initial shock of them not feeling the way that I thought that they would when I first put them on, they quickly grew on me. Your foot feels completely locked in place with these. They're so stable. It's kind of like wearing a pair of Metcon 4s with even more stability because of the flares on the front and the back of the outsole. What I don't understand though is why make a shoe that's more flat and more stable but then put the softest Metcon insole into it. I don't know, it just kind of seems contradictory to me. I thought they might have some added flexibility because of the broken up outsole design, but that's not really the area of your foot that flexes, so it doesn't really add any flexibility, it just reduces the overall weight of the shoe. Since the entire insole is React Foam, you can feel the foam compress a little on a squat, but it's not too bad. And you can also take the dual density insole from the fives or the sixes and put them into the turbos. They feel pretty good for running, especially if you use a midfoot strike. The flatter, more minimal design helps with that, but I think they'd be decent if you used a heel strike also since they have the React Foam insole for cushioning. But I just never recommend running with a heel strike at all. So in summary, I would say that the Metcon React Turbos are a good shoe for someone that's wanting a little bit more connected feel to the ground, a little more soft, a little more cushion feeling than the Metcon 6, but the sole splitting and that chunk coming off of the outsole really, really hurt them, you know, in my opinion. And so um, I'm really disappointed with that. If you have any questions about these shoes or other shoes, send me a message on Instagram or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and happy training.